Hello PHP Storm friends and welcome to another video. Refactoring is a big part of modern development and PHP Storm provides us with some amazing features to help us to refactor our code. And this is what I want to show you today in this video. Just to give you a brief explanation of what refactoring is, it's when you change your code without changing the output and the functionality of the code. So this means after refactoring, your code and your tests will always still work because you are not changing the output. And this gives you the opportunity to change your code to make it more readable, simpler, or whatever you want to do here. In order to show you how PHP Store can help you, we have here an application and we're dealing with an exporter class. And we're going to use this class to export some users to a CSV file. And today we want to take a look how we can refactor this exporter class here. So it's not too big, but there are still some, some things that I would want to change and to make it better in my opinion. Okay, so first we're going to start with the name of the class. As you can see, it's called exporter, but when we take a closer look, it's just about exporting users here everywhere. So this means when you think about this, this is an more a user exporter class. So what we could do here is just changing the class name like this, but then PHP Storm will um, complain about that the name does not match the file name. So we would need to change this here as well. Maybe let's here also change it to user exporter. But then we have the problem that everywhere we reference this class, this hasn't been changed. So for example, in our user controller here, you can see we have still the old class name. So this is why I would never recommend to just change the name like we did it here. So what we want to do is we want to refactor it. And therefore there is this nice shortcut for the refactor this shortcut. And this gives you all these features for refactoring. And what we want to do is we want to rename it. And we're going to change this now to the user exporter. And as you can see, it will also change the file name from exporter to user exporter. And this is exactly what we want to do. And also inside our user controller, you can see that we also have here the new name. And this is super handy because renaming things, you will need it all the time in your application. And this way you can make sure everywhere this class is used or this variable or this method it will be changed. So this means, yeah, as I mentioned, you can use it for also rename and variables also, but also for methods as well. Okay, when we move on, we can see here that we have a method for export users to CSV and we have one to export to PDF. And there's one chunk of code where we grab all the users and we're going to run this prepare for export method on all of the user instances. And this will just make sure that we only output data that we actually want to export. So maybe you want to hide some data and this is what we're going to do here. And this here is now the same as we have here. So this means we have duplicated code here. And there's a nice feature in PHP Storm that helps us with this. We're going to call the refactor this feature. And now what we can do is we can extract the code to a method. So first we have to provide a name. So let's say prepare users for export. Um, let's make it public. That's okay. We can generate a doc plot. We want to use a return statement. And now when we do this, it will change here, but you can also see that PHP Storm is asking us about another chunk of code that he has detected that we can also replace. And that's the one that we have down here. So if I say yes, I can also replace it. And you can see now that also it has been changed here. And this is exactly what we need because we have now a method here down here where we have the code and it has been replaced in all occurrences. Since we're already here, I can already tell that I don't like this return statement here. So there is also something that we could do and we want to inline the users. 
And what this does is it just gets rid of the return statement beneath and will just return it. And this now looks much better. And by the way, we have used another feature of refactoring in PHP Storm. Okay, but this method is something that might be used several times because now we have here a user exporter, but maybe there will also be an invoice exporter or something else. And then we might also want to call this method here. So this means I want to use a base class and add this method to the base class so that other classes can use it as well. So we're first going to extend a simple base exporter. Here we have it, not this one. And as you can see, it's just an empty class so far. And if I go down here to this method again, I just put my cursor here and I'm going to say I want to pull this matter up to the class above us and that's the base controller. So here at uh, the base exporter, that's what I meant. So this is the correct file. We're going to just pull up this method here and we're going to refactor it. Okay, you can see now that the method is gone here from this file. And if we follow this method now, you can see that we are now inside the base exporter and that we have this method here. Since we're already here, let's maybe change the naming here as well because now we don't have users. It's very specific to the exporter that we're using. So, so let's just call it items. And we also want to change this variable here now to let's say just an item singular. And again, we've been using the refactor features and this way we were able to change it wherever it was used. Okay, so this already looks much better, but there's another thing I want to change. As you can see here that we have this export path that we provide in this method and also in this method, they are both the same. And what I want to do in this case is I would like to make them a constant. So again, let's pull up our refactor features and let's introduce a constant. And PHPStorm again is smart enough to know that it can use this constant two times here and we're going to replace the two occurrences. And now I'm going to change this name to, let's just call it export path. And you can see now it is changed now here and here. And if we take a look at it again, you can see we now have here our export path. And since we're here, let's also make this public because we might use it somewhere else and we want to provide an accessor. All right, now I'm pretty happy so far with how the code looks. So here, for example, we could inline this method as well. So we've done this before, let's do it again. Let's call the inline feature here. So this way we could inline this method into the export method, but actually, I like it better this way because here it's more clear what we're doing. We're first preparing the users and then we're going to export them. So I would leave it like that. Okay, cool. So we already have been using some cool features of PHPStorm to refactor our code. The last thing that I want to do is our class now here is inside the app directory, but actually we have a service directory where all the other exporter files are in so let's move this file and you could just drop it there but this will this won't change the namespace so this means when you want to move a class you have to go to the class and also use here the move class refactoring feature and now we can say we want to move it to the services directory and this will also change our namespace now to app services and we can also get rid here of these imports because we're now in the same directory. So this is always what I recommend if you're going to move a class. All right, so this is how you can make use of the refactoring features in PHPStorm. Of course, there are much more of them, but I hope this video could give you um, a good start into this topic. Thanks again for watching and see you the next time.